Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Old Key West Resort. Coming up next. Hey explorers. John with Fun To Be Free, inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at Disney's Old Key West Resort, where turn of the century Old Key West meets Disney magic. Disney's Old Key West Resort is a Disney Vacation Club Resort at the Walt Disney World Resort. It was the first Disney Vacation Club timeshare resort, which opened in December 1991 and has the largest rooms of any of the Disney Vacation Club resorts. Disney's Old Key West Resort is served by the Walt Disney World bus and watercraft transportation. For bus service, there are five bus stops located throughout the resort, including an internal resort bus. Disney's Old Key West Resort has the hospitality house or the main entrance. There's the sandcastle pool and sauna, the recreation area, and the flying fish game room. Here's the North Cove Road bus stop, here at the Hospitality House. Bus transportation is offered to the Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, and the Disney Water Parks. Just over to the right hand side is the Bell Services Desk, but we're going to proceed straight ahead and go to the main lobby for check-in, just up here on the right hand side. Before we go to the check-in area, over on the left hand side is the Conk Flats General Store, cargo and provisions, but we'll come back to that in a moment. And on the opposite side is the check-in area. Let's go inside and see it. Let's go inside by going through the double doors. Inside the hospitality house is the front desk for check-in. And here's another look at the front desk. There's a model of the Florida East Coast Railway. And here's another model of the Key West Electric Company Railway. And here's the library at the Hospitality House where your family and friends can wait for you to check in. There's even a Marlin hanging over the fireplace. And here's another look at the library. Now let's go out the exit doors just up ahead here and head outside. Just up ahead is the DVC Ferry, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Now let's make a left and go around the corner and here's Olivia's Cafe, a table service dining experience. Let's take a look at the menu items that Olivia's Cafe has to offer. Okay. Right. Olivia's Cafe has entrees like the West Indian tofu and coconut curry, the southernmost buttermilk chicken, the slow cooked prime rib, the bacon cheeseburger, and the Keo Heso shrimp pasta. Now let's go inside Olivia's Cafe and see what it has to offer. Just inside the atrium here is the family album where you can meet our members. Inside the atrium is the family album that adorns the wall of photos of DVC guests. Over on the left hand side is the Conk Flats General Store just up ahead of the restrooms and over to the right hand side is Olivia's Cafe. And here's a quick look at the interior dining room here at Olivia's Cafe. The theming here is complete with all the various fish on the wall. Let's go inside Conk Flats General Store. Up ahead is Olivia's Cafe. Over to the right hand side is the register app. And if we continue looking off to the right hand side, those are the doors that we could have come through. Conk Flats General Store offers a vast array of exclusive merchandise. Here's a hat. Let's see how much it is. And it's $27.99. There's this nice beach towel and also this shirt. Let's see how much that is. And it's $24.99. There's some mugs here and down below is this cool t-shirt that says gurgling suitcase libations and spirits. Let's see how much that is. And it's $34.99. There's also this festive shirt here. Let's see how much it is. And it's 
Hong Flats. But now, let's go out the exit doors, here, and go outside. This pathway will take us just over to the bus stop, back at the main entrance of the Hospitality House. Located just over to the right-hand side is the Hospitality House. But now, let's head back down this covered walkway, down to the nautical flags at the end. Fun fact, the nautical flags at Disney's Old Key West spell out a message. When guests arrive at the resort by boat, it says, Welcome Home Members. And if they are looking at the flags from shore, it says, Members, Welcome Home. Down below is the marina and dock for the DVC Ferry. Before we go see the Sandcastle Pool and Sauna, let's head over to the neighborhood located just off Miller Road. Follow me. Disney's Old Key West Resort even has a running trail. There's Peninsula Road. Down below is Cornhole. And over to the right hand side is a pathway that we're going to go down to take it to Miller's Road. Here at Disney's Old Key West, there are five neighborhoods with bus stops nearby of each of them. There's also four pools. Three of them are leisure or quiet pools. Let's go check those out too. Behind me is the Hospitality House. Just across the way is one of the neighborhoods. Let's take a quick look at the Miller's Road bus stop. There's the leisure or quiet pool near the Miller's Road bus stop. Behind the pool are some barbecues along with the patio table and some lounge chairs in this white sand beach area. Here's a quick look at the spa. And here are the guest restrooms and laundry facilities. Now let's go take a look at the neighborhood just off Peninsula Road. Follow me. Disney's Lake Buena Vista Golf Course is a classic country club course that winds through pine forest, palmettos, and lakes at Disney's Old Key West Resort. Here's a look at the neighborhood just off of Peninsula Road. Over to the right hand side is Peninsula Road and up ahead is the Hospitality House. Down below is the Saskagoola River Waterway and just up ahead is the Lighthouse that's themed to a sauna. On the opposite side of the roadway is the Peninsula Road bus stop. On the other side of the waterway is the Sandcastle Pool and over to the right hand side is the recreation area. But we'll go check that out in a moment. We've come up to the South Point Road bus stop. But let's continue down the South Point Road down to the pool area. There's a quick look of the South Point Road's vacation homes and off to the right hand side is the pool area. Let's go see that. And here's a quick look at the pool. There's even a spa for the grown-up explorers where you can enjoy views of the waterway just down there. Here's another quick look at the pool with the playground off in the distance. And here's the playground for the junior explorers. Down by the playground are some barbecues and some patio tables. This building contains the guest restrooms and laundry facilities here at the South Point Road pool. Now let's head over to the old Turtle Pond Road neighborhood. There's even a tennis court here on old Turtle Pond Road. And here's the old Turtle Pond Road bus stop. Now let's head down around the corner to the left and check out the village pool. And here's a quick look at the vacation homes in this neighborhood. And just over to the left hand side is the village pool. Let's go check that out. We're here at the village pool. And if you look just over to the left hand side, there's Turtle Shack poolside snacks. You could even play a game of cornhole. There's even another playground here at this pool. They even have a spa. Just across the pool is the Turtle Shack poolside snacks. Let's go check that out. Here's a look at the Turtle Shack poolside snacks. Let's take a look at the menu offerings here. The Turtle Shack poolside snacks has various beer offerings. They also offer frozen cocktails like a strawberry daiquiri and a pina colada. Here's the Flying Fish game room. But sadly, at the moment, it's not available. Here are the restrooms, the guest laundry, and if you continue looking over to the right hand side, there's even a shuffleboard court over here. There's even this nice patio area with barbecues and patio tables so you can enjoy your snack. Let's look up to the third floor 
let's go check out the exterior room hallway. We're now on the third floor. Here's a look at the door entry and room number plaque. Let's head back over to the hospitality house and check out the sandcastle pool and sauna. And here's Olivia's Cafe's patio. But if you look just down the pathway on the left hand side is gurgling suitcase, libation and spirits. Let's go take a look at that. And here's the gurgling suitcase, libation and spirits. Let's take a look at the menu items. The gurgling suitcase, libation and spirits has some specialty drinks like the turtle crawl, the Key West loaded Bloody Mary, the Key West freeze, and the Slappy Joe's bourbon berry lemonade. And here's a quick look at gurgling suitcase, libation and spirits. Here's a table to enjoy your signature libation. There's even a hammerhead shark hanging over the door. Now let's go out these exit doors here. On the left is the gurgling suitcase, libation and spirits. And just over on the right hand side is goods, food to go, a quick service dining experience. Let's take a look at the menu items. Goods, food to go, has some hot entree items like the third pound Angus cheeseburger, chicken strips, mango rum barbecued pulled pork sandwich, and loaded nachos. And here's a quick look at the refillable drink mug and soda station. Here's a look down the pathway again, and if we look just over to the right hand side, here's the electric eel arcade. The electric eel arcade is not currently operating at the moment, but I'm hoping it will return shortly. And here's the Conk Flats Community Hall. Let's go inside and take a look. Let's go through the double doors here. And here's a quick look at the interior of Community Hall. Here at Community Hall, you could even play a game of pool. And here's another quick look at Community Hall. Now we're gonna go back out through the double doors that we came in. Over on the left hand side is the turtle crawl bar. But if we look just over to the right hand side, there's an entrance to the sandcastle, pool and sauna. Let's go check that out. Let's go through the entrance here. Just up ahead is the lighthouse, themed to a sauna. And here's a look at the sandcastle pool. There's the sandcastle water slide. And here's another look at the sandcastle pool. And here's the lighthouse themed to a sauna. Here's the spa for the grown-up explorers. And here's another quick look at the sandcastle water slide. There's the sandcastle pool with the hospitality house in the background. There's the entrance to the water slide. Directly behind me is the sandcastle pool and sauna. And across the way is the neighborhood located just off Peninsula Road. Here's the backside of the sandcastle water slide, and just below is a wading pool for the junior explorers. Located next to Community Hall is the exercise room, and it's called the Rest Beach Recreation Department Fitness Center. And here's a quick look at the entrance of the fitness center. Here's a ping pong table, and if we look over to the right hand side, here are some bicycles for rent. And just down the pathway a little bit more are some Surrey bikes to rent as well. There's even poolside restrooms here at Rest Beach. Just outside the exit for the Sandcastle Pool and Sauna is a shuffleboard court here at the recreation area. Let's go take a quick look at that. Shuffleboard equipment is available at Hank's Rent and Return. Over to the left hand side is the hospitality house. But if we continue looking over to the right hand side and up ahead now is the basketball court and over to the right hand side are the tennis courts. And you could even shoot some hoops here at the basketball court. And here are two additional tennis courts here in the recreation area. Up ahead is the back side of the Sandcastle water slide. And if you look just over to the left hand side, here's a pathway. Let's follow that. Take a look at this restful and relaxing white sand beach here at the Sandcastle pool and sauna. Here's a playground located just on the back side of the sandcastle, pool, and sauna for the junior explorers. And here are some hammocks in the white sand beach area. You could even play a game of foosball, a game of volleyball, enjoy a cozy 
fire pit in the evenings and enjoy views of the Sasagula River waterway. Now that we've seen the recreation area, let's head back to the main entrance located at the hospitality house. Let's go. We're back. Prepare to fast forward through time and space. Here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's Old Key West Resort just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.